Welcome back to my second Bali vlog. So we are just packed up. We're ready to check out of this hotel that we're at now. We've been here for the last two nights. Two yeah. nights, three days. So we're currently staying down um, in Legging, which is kind of down towards like Kuda, towards the southern area of Bali. And this place has been super nice. If you want to see more of it, Maddie's just done a vlog from this place here. Go and check out her video if you want to see more of this hotel. But yeah, we just finished up the gym and had to come back, pack our stuff real quick. And then we're moving on to our new place down in Uluwatu. So I'm super excited to stay down there. It's very beachy. There's a lot of like big cliffs that go over the beach and stuff like that. So it's going to be super nice and um, there's some really cool places down there that we're excited to see. And like go to restaurants and all that kind of stuff. So, so we're about to go check out now, and we're also getting shown around. There's like a presidential suite, which is not quite ready. It's not quite finished yet, but they're gonna allow us to use the pool up there. So it's gonna be uh, apparently it's super nice. It has like five bedrooms and stuff. So it's massive, but and there's only one in this whole hotel, which is quite big. We're staying at the Stones Hotel as well. If anyone wanted to know, it's like directly across the road from the beach and. The beach honestly has the nicest sunsets you've ever seen, so if you want to check that out, I'll put in my link below as well. Also, if you haven't seen yet, I did a vlog for my first couple of days in Bali, so go and check that out and let me know in the comments if you like that, But or if you want to see anything else from this Bali trip, comment below because I need to know what you guys want to see. But um, yeah, I think over the next few days we're going to be just chilling, getting the heaps of content. What are you laughing at? She's been sitting there for like the last five minutes just sending me all these memes. <laughs> Look at her. She, <laughs> she honestly like sits there and like laughs so much. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> but that's what happens all the time. So while we wait for our driver to come to take us to the next place in Uluwatu, we have this, it's like the whole rooftop pool to ourselves. So this is the presidential suite at the Stones Hotel and it's literally three story. So we're just in absolute heaven right here. And we're gonna be chilling here for the next few hours. And I think we're gonna get some photos and stuff because like this place is just just too nice. I wish we were here for sunset. It would have been honestly the most amazing view ever. So we finally have got to our new place. We've just been chilling around for like the last hour or so while we've been here. Um, just fixing some photos and just planning out like dinners and stuff tonight. And doing a bit of work, which we had to do anyway, but um, we're having like a late lunch at the moment. I didn't realize, but we probably shouldn't have got all this food. Because we're going out for dinner soon. <laughs> we have we just thought, dinner. Yeah, we haven't really had lunch today, so it's like, what's time now? 3 p.m. 3:40. 3:40 p.m. I think we're going for dinner at six to watch like the sunset and stuff. But we thought these were just going to be like nice and small, and <laughs> Maddie got fried noodles, and they're massive, but they look unreal. Mm. And the grilled chicken. Also, if you haven't watched Maddie's vlog yet, um, she explained the other day how we had a little situation in our one of our villas we were staying at. But pretty much what happened was we were laying in our bedroom, which is like right next to the entrance. And we had everything locked. We had the front front door of the actual, our, our villa, like the room part locked. And then we had the front door of the villa locked as well. And anyway, I had a noise and went out and some guy had come in and taken stuff. But I saw my bag on the table and I thought, obviously I hadn't taken anything. And as I caught him, he was like running, kind of like walking out, but going kind of faster to get out of the villa. And I thought, so if it's someone with a, a key, obviously it's someone and he's not gonna do anything bad. He was just there to clean up maybe. And so anyway, I chased him and asked him what he was doing and he couldn't speak any English and he didn't have anything in his hand. So I didn't really think of it too much, but as I'm, so I confronted him and asked him and he had a guy waiting on a scooter out further. And obviously the way that he walked back, he kind of like seemed like he had, I don't know, some kind of confidence that if I even thought he was like stealing something, like he could possibly have like a knife or something on him. So I didn't grab him, I didn't, I didn't want to grab him, like just in case, like he hadn't even taken anything, like I had no proof straight away. I didn't know because I hadn't checked my bag to see if everything was in it. All that kind of stuff, so. I kind of left it. Um, he got on the scooter, kind of, and put a mask on. Kind of took off quite quickly before I tried, to, I tried to take a photo of his face and he had he just put a mask on his face kind of thing. Same with the other guy, he was wearing a mask as well. Anyway, I walked back into the, our villa and checked my bag and my bag had like my wallet, my camera, everything in it. And this guy had gone into it and just gone into the front pocket and taken the cash out of it. 
So we lost about $200 Australian in cash. But I don't know why he... So obviously he's done this before because if he just went in and just took the cash and didn't take anything else, we might have just thought we might, might have lost it, like if we didn't hear him. For him not to take the whole thing, this seems like he's done it before and I don't know, it was just super strange. It was such a weird experience. But, you know, as long as we're okay and safe and we move villas like straight away, so no harm was done, not only that kind of stuff, but just one of those weird stories that nothing like that had ever happened to me before. I've never had anything taken, like, I think in my whole life. So, that was a bit of a funny story for you. So we just got changed and I'm about to go dinner. What are you wearing? Show us a look. I'm you look ready. so good. I'm wearing our poly top, show pants. You look good in yellow. Thanks. And I'm just going with a casual toy shirt and some linen pants. We've just arrived at Six Senses in Uluwatu and we get driven down on this buggy. But this place is probably one of the nicest places I've ever seen in my life. This is the view from where we're having dinner and it looks so surreal. So we both just ordered, well I ordered it and then you just ordered the same thing. It's gonna be like you. Vegetarian sushi, how is it? Not bad. Is it actually that good? It's so good. How good is it? Yeah, that's good, so good. The flavors are really good. Uh, last night we had a bit of a quiet night, so we just went out to dinner, as you would have seen. And after that we just basically went straight back to our um, our villa and just had a quiet night. We watched a movie it's called No Escape, so it had Owen Wilson in it, and I'd never seen it before. Oh, and Maddie's like, You have to see this, it's a really good movie. Um, but now we've just got down to the top of Sunday's Beach Club. This place is so nice as well. Yeah, I think there's monkeys like on the cliff. I love monkeys. What is so blue? And then there's lots of little bee bags and umbrellas. And then a big hut up there. So we just ordered some lunch and this food looks so good. We got San Choy Bao. Then I also got an iced tea because I'm trying not to have a soft drink. We got some, I don't know, some kind of weird greens. Then we also got some homemade corn chips which are like tacos with this massive thing of guacamole. It's so hot today. Being down there where there's like not too much wind and just chilling is so hot and you just sweat so much. But the water was really nice. We just had to walk up a heap of stairs, so I'm puffed. So we're just coming back up the top now where I show you at the start. So it's gonna be just, we're just gonna go up and just chill around the pool, I think, and go for a swim there because both of us prefer swimming in the pool. So we're currently <laughs> just laying around trying to plan what we want to do and Maddie wants to go and have some cocktails tonight. Is that what you reckon? Yeah, I want to get lit tonight. And she keeps asking me what I want to do. And he doesn't tell me what he actually wants to do. But then she hates it when I say, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, yeah, I'll go if you want. Yeah? No. Why not? Why don't you tell me what you actually feel like doing? Yeah, I want to. I want to have some cocktails. Look how white if my you face want. is. <laughs> Stop. Oh. Oh. Want some free drinks? Do that. Redness. That's from the sun. What if you didn't know? <laughs> so Maddie has convinced me to go and try and find some drinks somewhere. So now I have to try and go and find some way that I can try and get to stand in the shop somewhere instead of walking. I'm gonna go out to the road and see if I can find something. So I just hired the scooter out just to go for a ride. Right, let's go. Alright, just ride back and we've got my goodies. Someone's gotta finish their drink. Come on, finish up. It's hard to stop. Come on. That's it. 
So we just came out here and wow, this place is so nice. Everyone's starting to get a bit lit here. That's it, break it down all time. Get it. Oh, honestly, it looks like I'm in Greece. I just popped over to Europe for this one. Skull, 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 skull. I get legit. Yes. It's turned into a full fiesta, are you? Fiesta. I can't see. Why is the so big? So we got a big head. So we just got back to our villa now. We probably just had eight cocktails and actually these ones here were probably the strongest ones we've ever had in Bali. But that place was an absolute vibe. Like it wasn't super busy, but I feel like the pit, yeah, the people that were there were just having like the best time ever, which was the best thing to like be around. We stayed there for about three hours, just having drinks, watching the sunset go down. We're gonna head to sleep now. Um, we've got a big day planned tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see you in the morning. We just got ready and we are heading out for lunch. Maddie's been looking forward to this place the whole time we've been here. It's so nice. Yeah, we'll see about that. She's never been there, I've never been there. So we're gonna go check it out and see how it is. I just shaved my little mustache in for uh, Movember. You like it? I do. Oh, look at the water. Wow. Alright, so we just got to lunch and the lady just came around and just <laughs> had like a jug of water and we thought that, she, I thought she was going to start pouring us some water. And then she said to Maddie, would you like us, would you like me to wash your hands? And I've never seen you so confused in my life. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I've never had a jug before, ever. But it felt so good, it smells so fresh. But this... It's probably the best view I've had in any of my vlogs or anything so far or any part in Bali. This is our table. This is this is part of our table. And then there's a massive big cliff. But it's super fancy. So we just got our first starters. And I got a beetroot variation. Sorry? That looks good. Yeah, so nice. And then Maddie also got a salmon cannelloni. Yes. That looks really good. So we're just getting some black pepper, but this is the biggest. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. <laughs> this is the best experience ever. So we just got our mains, and I just got some ribs. And he just came out with some black pepper. And then our final one is miso sorbet and she brought us out some like chocolates. So we just finished up at lunch and then going back to our, um, getting left back to the front now. That food was honestly the big best food. Yeah, one of the best foods I've ever eaten anywhere. Like our restaurant was so amazing. I definitely recommend that for anyone down in the middle of the world too. But it wasn't even super expensive. Like I think we did a two course meal but it came out with a dessert as well and it cost us $70 each. That includes with like the soft drink being like $8 each. So the food was really good. All right, so it's a couple of days after I finished vlogging the rest of this video, but I something happened to the rest of my video and it didn't import properly. I don't know, something happened. But I wanted to jump on here and just finish off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, if you have any other requests for any other videos or anything, please put them down below because come up to Christmas, I'm gonna try and be as productive as possible and try and get as many videos out. But sometimes it's a bit hard to try and find new ideas and stuff like that. So if you wanna see any, put them down below and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.